Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. From what we have here, can anybody guess what we're going to fix today? We are going to attempt, I've seen it on YouTube, we're going to do our version. We're going to try the Smash Burger. Yeah, this has been done several times, but I've made it a couple times off camera. We're going to try it our way. A lot like everybody else's, we got our mustard. Some put Thousand Island, some put A1. We may put both. Hunt's ketchup, we got our seasoning. Of course, our Cosmos SPG rub. Got our 93% uh, lean ground beef. Uh, lettuce, tomato and onion. Just a normal, we got our buns back there. We will be toasting those. Instead of doing it outside on the grill, we're gonna do it right here in a couple of high quality lodge cast iron pots. I've got a cast iron video on there. If anybody wants to check it out, I'll put a link right up in the upper right hand corner somewhere about right now. Okay. Check that out if you would. Um, let's get everything laid out here. We're going to get the uh, meat, go ahead and work it up, get it seasoned and get it ready. And we'll be uh, right back with you. All right, what I've did here, I've already rolled the uh, patties up into little balls. This is, I didn't bother filming it. There's nothing too dramatic about that. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this tiger seasoning. It's very minimal now. The two little ones over in the corner that's stacked up, those are my wife. She didn't want... Hardly any seasoning added to hers. I'm going to be very minimal on the tiger salt. I just like a little of the flavor on it. Then we're going to go ahead, once again, get a good shot. The Cosmos Q SPG Dry Rub. We're going to go with it. I'm going to put some on here. All right, we're just pretty generous with that. We're just going to put the lid on this and let it set. Like I say, these two back here, when I get them in the pan, I'll put a little bit of pepper on them. She don't like the seasoning as heavy as the rest is on it as we do. So we're going to leave these right here and get the pans ready. Okay, so I figure we're going to go ahead and get our cast iron heating. I got three out. I got the skillet. I got to have one for the buns. I got to have one to fry my wife's in because she don't like the same amount of seasoning. I got one to fry the other ones in. So I figured the more cast iron you could have out, have on the stove, the better off we are. Right? Okay. So over here, I've got the station. We're going to get a little video. We're going to get the vegetables, onion, lettuce made. We're going to get all that ready over here. So... Let's go ahead and get stuff set up and we'll be um, right back. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead, get the mater worked up. Got out the truck's trusty BK-15. You all seen it in my other videos. It is the, it is my kitchen knife. Wouldn't have anything else. So we're not gonna use that piece. I'm gonna toss it. Unfortunately, it is January here in East Tennessee. You don't get the best stuff from the supermarket. Really like to have a fresher, we'll wait till summer and get a lot better. Made get some out of the garden when we get started with the garden. Bring y'all along with that with the garden videos and what have you. We'll cut these in some thinner slices. See this? I mean, I just, it's part of it, but sure would like to have a better quality this video but it is what it is and I apologize for the bump I accidentally hit the camera there just a minute ago I was filming part of this with the GoPro that I've recently acquired we'll get the bugs worked out all right now we're gonna work up this onion it all opened up here get us some good thin slices peel all this mess off here all right like I said the Becker BK 15 I done a video on those just the other day check those out one of the best kitchen knives you've ever seen designed by Ethan Becker 
um, built by K-Bar. Excellent products. 1095 chrome vanadium. Like I mentioned in the video for their knives, super sharp. They do take a little extra care to take care of them because they do rust. Once I get done using them, I do clean them. Oil them down a little bit with um, uh, vegetable oil or something. But that's a whole different video. Check it out. I'll, I'll leave a link to it up in the corner there somewhere. And that's about all we're going to do on the onion for right now. Let's set it aside. And we'll get ready to do the lettuce right here in just a minute. Alright, we got our pan that we're going to toast the buns in. We got the butter melting on it. We'll get those going. We got the buns over here ready when this right here butter gets melted. We'll put these buns on, toast them, get them ready. The two casts are almost ready for the hamburgers. Uh, we've got the lettuce, tomato, onions, and all that stuff chopped and ready. I didn't bother showing it because everybody's chopped that before. So get, we've got it ready. It's in the refrigerator, staying cool. And here in just a second, we'll get some burgers on. <clears throat> okay, we've got the buns toasted. we got the hamburger right here that we prepared earlier. We'll go ahead and get this out here. Like I say, these two here is going to be fixed back there. Those are my wife's. She doesn't like as much seasoning. We're going to fix these right here. I think this pan's big enough to get four of them. And we'll get at least one more. Now these burgers are set up for uh, two patties each is the way we're doing them. Let them get frying. Take a little more of this SPG rub. Scatter on these because I like mine. Quite a bit of seasoning. A little bit on that one. Make sure don't want to burn the buns. No, they're looking good. Get those going there. And here comes the smash burger part. I'm a little slow at this, but these don't take long to cook or fry because they are thin. Doesn't take long to get them going. We'll smash them out thin, about three eighths, a little less than half an inch. There used to be a, well there still is a drive-in up here at town that fixed their burger patties real thin like this. Oh, it was awesome. Used to eat there a lot. Get these all smashed out. I hope I'm not blocking the camera. Like I said, we're just gonna season the one side because if you flip them over, it won't take but just a second. Notice how the corners all bust. What that's going to do is give you a little more crust in certain areas, give you a little bit of burn edges on them. I'm going to mash them too much once they get the frying good because it'll all the juice will come out. I got them there just a little thicker than I meant to, but we'll be all right. We're still going for two patties per burger. It'll just be a big burger, what do you say? I'm saying here just barely going to do these. Right, smashed out real good there. Get the heat turned on up a little bit on this eye. Got everything going good. We're gonna leave those right there. Check the buns. Oh, they're coming along nicely. Sorry about that. We're gonna leave everything right there. This one I need to turn on up a little. It needs to catch up to that. We're gonna get something here. Let's see, let me get something else to check those buns with. fine shape smash them out too bad we call them smash burgers not smash buns the first one's going to be ready to turn over you can see that in the camera if 
Those are exactly, exactly where we want those. We'll just let them fry a minute on this side and they'll be done. We'll get these others going and we'll be right back with you. Okay, we got the bun already set up. We got the Thousand Island, the mayonnaise, lettuce, onion, mater. So we're gonna go ahead and put patty number one on there. We'll go ahead and throw the American cheese. Now I didn't melt it in the pan because I just didn't like it that way and get all over everything. I just rather have it that way. And here comes patty number two. Then if we can successfully get this flipped right over on top of there. Got ourselves a smash burger. There's only one more thing that I want to add that I didn't add until the thing was put together. A1. It's not just for steak. Put a little of that right on top of there. There we go. It's for beef. Let me get something here. Oh. I know what we'll use to cut this open. The trusty BK-15. Nice and juicy, falling apart. It's the way it's supposed to be, right? Hamburgers are not supposed to be the prettiest thing out there because you eat them, you get messy, you get them all over you, it makes them that much better, kind of like eating ribs. If you enjoyed today's video, please like, share, subscribe. It's been kind of short and sweet. It's been a little rough to film by myself, but my wife's got some other, she's gonna help me on here in a day or two. We've got some other videos, so keep checking with the channel. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Check back for more. Good day. God bless. Gonna get one more picture, one more shot of it, but I've looked at this thing just about as long as I can stand it. It is time for the cook to eat. Y'all have a good day.